Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing another whoop build video. And this one we're going to do a little bit different than our other ones. This one's going to be more of a beginner's guide. Say you don't have any tools, anything like that. You're just wanting to get started. You could always go buy a bind and fly, but you might want to build your own. So we're going to get straight into it. I'm going to go over the parts I'm using, the prices, and then we'll get straight into building. First off, being that this is more of a beginner's guide, most likely you don't have any tools. So if you don't, this would be a great option to look into. It's $49.99, I believe. It's from Newbie Drone. It's a tool kit. And it pretty much has everything that you would need to build a drone the first time, even a bigger drone, like a five inch, something like that. So it's a great option. I'm gonna do a separate video over this thing because there's quite a bit of tools in here and I don't wanna waste time on this in this video but look for that in the future. Now we're going to get straight into the parts I'm using for this video. First off, we have the flight controller. This is the Hummingbird version three, and this comes in at $49.99. So that's the flight controller that we're gonna be using. Next up, we have the Flow Newbie Drone motors. I picked the 29,000 kV motors just because I like the high kV. These come in at $45.99. And then our frame comes in at $4.99. Now this frame is the new Light AF from Newbie Drone. This thing is extremely light and it's the lightest frame on the market. I'd highly recommend it. Solid frame. Definitely look into this frame. Then onto our canopy and camera. We're going to be using the BI camera which comes in at $12.99. And then the Goober canopy. They come in at $4.99. The Goober Canopy might not be the best option if you're wanting to go super light, something like that. I just like how it looks, and I have one. So that's what we're going to be using, and I think it's going to look really cool on this new frame that Newbie Drone came out with. So all those parts added up comes in at $117.95, and then say you throw in a set of props, that will put it up to about $120. So you'll have about $120 into building this whoop. Before we get into building, there's one other thing I wanna cover. You're probably wondering, why would you build this when you can go buy a bind and fly for way cheaper? The reason being is in a bind and fly whoop, a lot of times you aren't getting the specific motors you're wanting. So yes, they might be cheaper, but you're not getting that 702, 29,000 kV motor. And also, you might not be getting really the frame you want. So that's why I'm building this today. You can make up your mind which you want to do. Bind and Fly is a great option. If you want to build one, this is the video for you. Let's get straight into building. So first off, the only tool that we're going to use out of the tool kit is the screwdriver. And we're going to grab the Phillips head screwdriver and put that in there. And then we're going to grab the small screws that are in with the frame. Don't grab the ones that are in with your motors because those are going to be too long. Just grab the small screws that are in with your frame. And that's the ones that you're going to use to put on your motors. I found the easiest way to put on the motors is put your top screw in first. Um, you might find it differently but that's the easiest way I found to put in the motors. So I always start with my top one and then I move down to the others and just continue and repeat the whole process on all four, putting them all on. And you can see I have the top right as the red wired one and the top left as the black wired one and then we're going to just do the opposite on the bottom however i messed up in this video and i got them backwards all of my motors were spinning backwards when i hooked them into beta flight which is a quick and easy fix in beta flight but if you want them to spin the proper way um, put your red wire in the top left and the black wired motor in the top right and then you're going to just do opposite on the bottom so I'm sorry about that. I got it backwards in the video. I'm supposed to be helping you build this and it seems like I'm doing a bad job of it. All you have to do is flip them compared to what I have here and you'll be all good. Next thing we're going to do is grab the grommets and we're going to install those into the flight controller. That's pretty self-explanatory so I didn't do that in the video. But just go to mount those and then we're going to put the flight controller onto the frame. You're going to want the white little plug in up front with a little hummingbird that's going to be the very front of your um, quad then as soon as we get the flight controller mounted all we're going to do is plug in the motors 
The reason I did not solder them in this video is to make it more simple, more of a beginner's guide. All you have to do is plug the motor in to the plug that's nearest that motor. Now as soon as we get all the motors plugged in, I did want to go over one other thing. I made another mistake in this video and I told you the Goober canopy was $4.99 and the camera was $12.99. However, if you buy those together, you can buy those both for $14.99 and they'll come pre-installed just like this one. And so just buy that pre-installed if you're buying both together. That's if you're not going with a different canopy. And then from there, all you have to do is plug it in, super simple. Then we're going to just run the VTX antenna up through the biggest hole in that Goober canopy. And then we're going to grab the ELRS uh, antenna and we're going to stick that through one of the smaller holes. The only reason we're doing this is just to get it out of the way of our propellers so it doesn't get chopped up. Next we're going to grab the screws with the flat head and we're going to mount the first one up front and that's because as soon as you put the goober canopy over that location you can't put in that screw any longer. As soon as you get done putting the first one in up front then we're going to just mount the goober canopy down with the other three. So we got it all built, pretty much all self-explanatory. Now, if you're wanting a more in-depth soldering the motors, that type of thing, I do have another video similar to this one, pretty much the same thing, that I do solder the motors. Now, that is pretty much self-explanatory also as far as this build and soldering the motors. However, to a newbie, maybe you'd want to look into that. So I'll link that down in the description if you're interested. If you have any questions about this build, if you have any questions as far as setting it up, I'll also link a video for that. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching the build.